guys, Katrina here at the Zebra Wheelie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is just another episode of uh, my Tesco series. I, as I said before in my last video, I worked for Tesco for seven years here in Northern Ireland and I experienced uh, disability discrimination uh, from my manager. Um, I basically lost my job. If you if you want to see the full story, follow follow the link or the card. Sorry, I think it's called. Uh, but anyway, Tesco employees are made to sign an agreement as part of their contract to say that they will not talk about company procedures on Facebook or anything like social media but I am not an employee anymore so I am just going to talk about it I don't care what they say or what they do I'm going to talk about it as I said in my last video they have a really strict policy on their sick days You're, when I was there Personally, with my hours, I was only allowed seven days per week, or seven days, that's one, one week per year on sick leave. And that's regardless of any medical conditions or any circumstances that you have, even if you have a child. I'm getting childcare and whatnot takes more than seven days. Oh, sorry, I'm sneezing. Oh. But uh, also for family emergencies, they only give you three days. For example, I was uh, working one night and I got a phone call saying that my dad was in hospital because of his uh, food ulcers due to his diabetes. I rung my manager from the hospital and said uh, that I wouldn't be coming back to work because my dad was being admitted. And they said, oh, just could, could you not just leave him there and come back, come back to work? What? No. I told I told him to catch a grip, like the um, my family's more important than my job. But uh, they also have really strict policies on what uh, uh sorry, brain fog. They also have really strict policies on uh, what you can wear. Well, obviously, being a, a uniform company, I can understand that. But uh, and they do allow for religious or wearing clothing for religious reasons, such as a headdress or or any other sort of religious clothing. But uh, there was one time the heating field in the, sto in the store and it was the middle of December in the middle of the, the worst winter I've seen for years and they weren't allowing the staff to on the staff on the shop floor to uh, wear gloves or wear scarves to keep warm and because of this people were getting sick so the workers union phoned the council and the council came out and fined them because they refused to fix the heating system. Now basically to them you are just a number. They do not care about their staff whatsoever. And also the amount of abuse that uh, frontline staff have to suffer from customers is, is shocking. Most of the customers are nice, dead on. 
will treat you nicely. But say if you refuse somebody alcohol, if they're if they're too young or if they're already drunk, it's actually illegal here in the UK to sell alcohol to a drunk person. But uh, they do nothing to protect their staff. Uh, there was an incident in our store where two customers were, two female customers were sitting having a scrap. And I mean, actually having a fight, fisticuffs and everything. And uh, there was no security because of the cutbacks that they had made. They had paid off the security man and there was only one other security man for the whole shop. And my manager had to go, my team leader had to go and separate them. And then he got, in the process of it, he got hit as well. He ended up injured too. Uh, the police couldn't get over. They interviewed us the, the day after and they couldn't get over that they didn't have enough security on to sort things like, like, like that out. If you're a Tesco worker, or if you were a Tesco worker, please, please tell what tell everybody what happened or what is happening. If you are a Tesco worker still, or if you are a former Tesco worker like myself, please let me know in the comments what what happened to you in your store, or if anything similar happened to you in regards to your disability or illness. Anyway, that's that one over. My hair seems to be coming back really, really quick. That's amazing, like I can just about run the comb through it. That's uh, from the brave to save. I can go out without my bandana now, which is great. I will still get people staring at me, but what, do you, what can you do? It's mostly elderly people that stare at me anyway with my, and me being a wheelchair. I'm wearing my favourite t-shirt as you can see. Anyway, if you like this channel please like, comment or subscribe. Uh, but most importantly like because it helps to people to find this video with YouTube's algorithms. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.